hello o sea dime are we looking at the same thing because hello it looks so good i'm so excited there's Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another hair video. Today we're doing a spontaneous curly cocktail. I tried this a few times and I love it. I've been loving it so much. Super quick, easy, not much drying time and you will not believe the product combination that I was able to like put together for this amazing wash and go. Okay so first and foremost I am starting off with freshly deep conditioned hair. I feel like that is key. You always got to deep condition your hair for bum results so uh oh let me adjust the camera much better but this is what my hair looks like i just got out of the shower and i did my makeup i was deep conditioning while doing my makeup I just finished rinsing off my hair and this is what it looks like for deep conditioning today i use the eva nyc deep conditioner i don't have it with me right now but i'll insert it and i'll put it somewhere around here so you guys know exactly what i use to deep condition my hair and here we are my hair is a little bit more drier and probably more frizzy because i'm being a really bad curly girl right now and I continue to use a non microfiber towel don't do that okay it's better to just use either a t-shirt or a microfiber towel but I have been lazy so this is why my hair is a little bit more fluffy than usual so I'm gonna show you guys what products I've been using what I've been loving and I typically would diffuse but today I'm a little short on time so I'm gonna be air drying so you guys are gonna be able to see the air dried results and then maybe I can do it again and show you guys the diffuse results so I'll show you guys that but first and foremost the product that I'm gonna start off with is with the not your mother's curl talk curl activating mousse and then I top it off with of course Eco Styler Gel. I know. It's insane. It's insane the amount of moisture that this guy gives me because I don't need a leave-in. I don't need a styling cream. I don't need a moisturizing base because this alone is moisturizing enough, which is shocking. And I still can't believe it. I don't know how I was able to get that to work, but it does. And I'm here today to show you guys how I do that. So as of lately, I have been using less water in my hair. The less water, the less drying time. Be careful because sometimes when I do this, like a product can flake on me if it requires to be really, really wet so just keep that in mind okay so I'm starting off by just wetting my hair with some water and again I am really trying not to drench my hair because I don't want to be air drying for 10 hours today you know and it's also cold so I really don't want my hair to be dripping wet again this is the not your mother's curl talk curl activating mousse it says that it has soft touchable holds which it definitely does have you guys will see that in the result and it's for all curl types and it's a level intensity too I wonder if they will ever come out with like a stronger hold I just recently got their gel and it's a stronghold and a lot of you guys in my DMs were telling me girl be careful because when they say stronghold they mean stronghold and those are my type of gels like if you say stronghold I want to feel that crunch I want to see the hold and I want my wash and go to last four to five days like minimum you know so I'm excited to try that out we will definitely be trying that out in another video but for today I'm gonna go crazy with this mousse and I just love uh oh did I shake it and I just love that it starts growing oh it's getting dark I'm a little scared and I'm just gonna generously apply this is a little too much so I'm gonna run it over to this side even though this side was a little drier but that's okay and it also smells really really good oh my god I love how that smells so honestly I prefer less water so I do prefer this side that had a little bit less water in it so for the next section that I do I'm gonna make sure not to saturate it that much but nonetheless this is how it looks it looks really curly and I think I did this one by itself too I'm not 100% sure don't quote me so after I applied ooh, what the heck <laughs> After I apply my mousse, I'm gonna go in with some Eco Styler Gel. And I'm kind of generous with Eco because this is what's gonna give me that additional hold so that my curls can last. But it doesn't give me like a crunch. Well, it kind of does, just depending on how much you use. Forgot to mention, I am using the, Fe the Felicia Leatherwood Styling Brush for this wash and go. It's a little dirty. So I'm not gonna give you guys a close up, but <laughs> this is what it looks like. And I just take it and distribute it all throughout do a little shake to activate and then a final scrunch and then I'll do one more just because I really don't want to be dripping anywhere beautiful 
I love the definition. This is all I am adding to my hair. Again, the next few sections, I'm just gonna try to add less water. I had a rule that once is winter, I don't air dry, but today's an exception because I really wanted to film, but I'm also doing a whole bunch of other stuff today. So I literally have no choice but to air dry, but I think it'll give you guys still a pretty good like look at what it does to my hair. You guys are watching the vlogs. In the vlogs, I said that I have a rule, and my rule is that I cannot wear a bun more than one day. Like, I can't wear a bun two days in a row it has to be just one day and I only give myself two bun days out of the week so I have been washing my hair way more and I find that it's quicker I'm gonna put all this in the top of my hair because I have way too much if you guys have any favorite products from the curl talk line let me know because I tried the curl talk line right when they first launched but they only had a few products now I feel like they're just are expanding and expanding and they have a lot of more options to style your hair with so if you guys have any favorites let me know in the comments down below and I will definitely try it and yeah I want to know if it would work for me and if you guys notice there is no white beading or anything like that so that means that my hair has enough water if my hair was a bit more dry eco styler gel might not be too nice to me i know a lot of you guys say that eco styler gel tends to flake and it just depends on what you cocktail it with how much water you have in your hair for me i've never had that issue except for my edges because i always do my edges and then it gets mixed up with makeup and other products and so sometimes i do have like flaking in the front but it's nothing a little water can't like get away it's not like i'm stuck with it forever but this shows me that I use the perfect amount of product and the perfect amount of water and that's why it looks like that. all of my hair and look how cute what do you guys think what do you guys think guys this bra me tiene alta. i keep having to pull my shirt up and my bra keeps showing so sorry that you guys keep seeing my bra strap i'm trying to hide it i promise but hair is done i love it i really really wish i had time to diffuse because i feel like air drying results and diffusing results do not compare for some reason i feel like air drying results always leave this part of my hair more flat versus diffusing you're obviously doing it to the side upside down and this part dries with more volume but look how moisturized look how juicy 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 <laughs> look how juicy the curls look hello osea dime are we looking at the same thing cuz hello it looks so good I'm so excited there's and again no leave-in no styling just a mousse and a gel who would have thought what a thought. Now I'm gonna go ahead, go about my the rest of my day, you guys. Wish me luck because I'm driving at night. <gasps> Since the sun sets so fast, I'm like a little <gasps> I'm like a little nervous because I'm gonna do highways and byways and all that good stuff at night. And I'm just like, oh my god, you know, so pray for me, even though it already passed, but still pray for me. Yeah, I will be back once my hair is fully dry, check back in, show you guys these results, and let you know what I think. So I am back and my hair is fully air dried, believe it or not. However, this is why I do not like to air dry my hair because I'm dealing with a lot of flatness. So typically I would have come back and like fluffed it out and done all the things that I normally would do when I air dry. But I wanted to show you guys exactly how I do that. Mia, are you gonna let me film, Papush? Are you gonna let me film? Can I finish? So I'm going to grab my diffuser and this is the Tinico. Tinico, I don't know why I can't say that. The Tinico one. Tinico, Tinico, I don't know. I'm sorry if I'm butchering the name. But I'll definitely have it linked down below for you guys because I have been loving this diffuser so much. Like literally Dyson who? Like who that? 
I've been using this, been loving it, and I'll link it down below for you guys. So what I like about this diffuser is that it has a cold setting right here. So I can just press it and it's just gonna be cold air. And that's exactly what I need for my hair so I can have some volume, seal in the shine. It also makes your hair really shiny when you put it on the cold setting. And it's gonna help with volume without causing frizz. If I put this on warm or even hot air, it's gonna obviously frizz up the curls and that's not what I want. We did dry with a nice cast but as you can see it's a very movable and touchable cast and once I scrunch it out my curls are going to be fantastic so while I'm diffusing I'm making sure to move around the diffuser and that way it can just gently break the cast from the crown of my hair without causing any frizz and this is also just gonna help lift my hair away from my roots again without causing frizz Okay, so this is what my hair looks like once I stop diffusing. Obviously not crazy amount of volume, but we're working towards it. So I'm going to use the Palmer's Coconut Oil Moisture Hair Scalp Oil. And this one squirts really aggressive, so just squirt it in your hand. Don't just squirt it in your hair because you're going to have it in a shh like a specific spot. So that's not what we wanna do. So I'm just gonna gently take whatever I have in my hand and just put it over my hair so I can just get a head start on breaking the cast. Now, if you want your curls to last all week, girl, don't break the cast. Let the cast break on its own. But you might not have enough, you know, like as much volume. But if you don't care about volume, you care about definition and longevity, girl, don't break that cast. Let it break out on its own. But I want to show you guys that you can achieve volume on day one. So I'm going to go ahead and break the cast, but also start sectioning my hair. And this is the key part to adding volume to your hair. So any parts that is chunky and clumpy, you want to just separate them. I want to be closer to mommy. <laughs> we have another guest, guys. Come here's Mama. And here's Mio. <laughs> and they call me while like crazy. Go, 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 go. my hair looks like now that I separated it, diffused it, picked it out and fluffed it. It looks so cute. I definitely would not have had to go through all of the extra steps if I had diffused but since we air dried I wanted to show you guys what I do to achieve more volume without causing frizz and this is a really great oil to do that but be careful don't use too much because it can get heavy and very producty and oily if you use too much. A little bit goes a long way so keep that in mind if you choose to separate using the, this Palmer's oil. The only thing the like perfectionist in me is that I wish I would have put more product in the top of my hair. If you guys can see there's some frizz going on there. So tomorrow for refreshing I know I have to pay attention to this and simply what I would just do is maybe spritz it twice. Not too much water and just throw on some more mousse and a tiny bit of eco gel. For me the crown area is definitely a problem area as you can see. I thought I put enough product but sometimes I don't always get it right so I need to fix this situation tomorrow but nonetheless this is what the curls look like with this combination. I know I wasn't expecting it I'm telling you I literally did this on accident and I've been loving it ever since especially again if you diffuse. So if you guys are looking to do a new little product cocktail situation try Try this out. Everything that I use in this video, I will have it linked down below so you guys can check it out. From the spray bottle to the blow dryer, everything will be linked down below for you guys. So if you guys like this style of video and you enjoy my little curly cocktail series, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and leave me some feedback in the comments down below. What do you think about this combination? Would you try it? How do you think it turned out? Do we like it? Do we hate it? Do we love it? Let me know. Let's chat in the comments down below. And if you guys are not following me on Instagram make sure you follow me on Instagram at Chelly's Curls so we can stay connected and be curl friends and I will see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye